Sorry, it took me a second there to get my audio up. Let us transform you into something more useful. A cow, perhaps? Alrighty, so let's get a bit of an introduction going. I'm so sorry. I'm coming in this a little late, guys. So, for, let's see now. For red team, we're going to have Audio6 at jungle, Ymir PK at solo, Cyrus at mid, it Foxy at ADC, and MX Double at support. MX Double is a captain, so no need to really keep an eye on him this time around. Uh, he is not draft eligible. And coming in for blue team, we're going to have Frank from it IT. Frank from IT. I can't believe I say Frank from it IT. Frank from IT at jungle. We're going to have Robin at solo we're gonna have odd fire at mid we're gonna have sins at adc and we're gonna have act joking at support a little bit of a mouthful there for me i don't know why but for whatever reason whenever i'm gonna stream i just get congested and then i sound all weird and then i regret commentating but uh, we're here anyway Ooh. Ymir PK playing that Ymir into an Osiris and body and Robin right there. Hunbats. Uh, it was Agni that gets to pick up and Hunbats as well. Hunbats just barely made it out of there though. He And that's going to be Pele and Hera that fell. Let's see how Dual Lane's doing. Apollo and Yorm are over here. Not a lot going on right now, kind of slow paced. Let's see, Ymir was starting to Osiris in the solo lane. We got a little bit more fighting in duo, but it's not going to result in anything major. That's very unfortunate. Just hoping to get some high action, high octane fighting. Osiris is actually going to pick up the Ymir. I didn't get that, unfortunately, with the help of Pele. Unbat trying to chase him out, not able to do much there. Fairly slow paced. Fairly. Blah, 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 blah. Fairly slow paced game. mid three people there I don't think much is gonna come of it though
excuse me. Okay, they might get bullied away from her speed. I'm so so sorry guys I'm a tad bit distracted with a bit of a conversation right now so I do actually have my chat up now which is dope uh, to anybody who doesn't know um, through the PC and Xbox streaming I do have my chat up so I can definitely chat with you guys a little bit Anybody that did want to chat, give some input on the game. What are you guys thinking? Osiris looking for an invade, but the blue's not there. Who are they boxing out right there? I couldn't get a view. I think it was Hera. And they're gonna go through all this trouble for like a back XP camp. Oh, MX Double's gonna get a kill right here. Bye bye Pele. Agni just applying so much damage with his uh, uh I don't know what it's called. It's not Bird Bomb. With his ult. Oh god. Beautiful. And red team's gonna steal blue team's speed. And that is really big. That might keep them behind now. He said that boy Robin needs to get his game up. He's the Osiris right over here, planting in Ymir, PK, who's coincidentally on Ymir. Big yikes, so much damage from that Ymir. MX Double's barely going to get out of this if he does get out of it at all. Yeah, the Agni ult, the Agni 2, and Sins goes down. Bye bye, Apollo. He understands how to apply the tick damage on the dash, and Scotty is going to get Hera. Big yikes. Is MX double serious? Up, oh, he is going to fall. Frank from IT. There's the ult out, but it's not enough. Agni is going to pick him up with his third ult. Yes, Ruth. That means I can see this now. Uh, beforehand, I couldn't see it just because I wouldn't keep my PC pulled up. And, well, I didn't have a PC to keep pulled up. Um, but now, you know, I can I can pull up my stream on my PC and chill in the chat on my PC. And then stream from my Xbox. And, you know, there you go. Yorm support shouldn't be a thing. A watch party. A watch party. That's a that's a first. Yeah, I have to make that like a weekly thing. Uh, can Apollo pick up Scotty? Come on, Sins. Uh, oh, I forgot to announce that Sins also is a captain. This is super late. Oh my goodness. Um, Sins also is a captain, so uh, he's not draft eligible as well. And we see Robin's gonna pick up the Amir there. 
But like I said, uh, MX Double is not draft eligible, and neither is Sins. Both are captains. There's the alt from Hunbats. Hunbats is going to pick up Pele. Uh, Doxus is killing it. Killing it. Wow. Uh, Yorm, Yorm and Hera might be in trouble. Great CC chain. Great damage chain. And good dash. Good tick damage. Uh, red team's just applying everything beautifully right now. That's why they're up with nine k, nine kills, five uh, k gold, four k gold maybe, five k gold probably. Lesser to it. Yeah, it's been a very passive game. Um, I don't uh I don't know. I, the Hunbats has been a little bit more has had a little bit more presence in the game so far than the uh, Pele has. Uh, hopefully you can turn it around towards the late game. Also now approaching the uh, 11 minute mark, you can start getting ready to look at uh, some type of uh, objective somewhere on the map. Preferably gold right here. I think that was a blink from Hunbats. If not, he jumped over. It. Honestly, did not catch it. And looks like Scotty's gonna do gold. And they're gonna drop gold for a big team fight that I'm gonna struggle to get an angle on because I switched to Apollos. And he just happens to be ulting. Here we go. Nope. Uh, all we got out of this is that red team got two kills and uh, they're gonna get gold out of those two kills. It looks like Osiris and Pele are gonna look to try to get a steal. Pele can get out, maybe. She should be able to, she's got the speed. She gets poked pretty bad though. Honestly, they might look at Pyro here. Osiris is going to try to contest because that's exactly what they're going to look for. I did not see. Did he get the steal on that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Ymir got the steal on him. Uh, that's probably not an accurate reference at all. I see the Gebalt going down over there. You know, I've seen Agni bombs consistently, uh, and they have like been in great positions too. It's not like just randomly placed alting, uh, which you see a lot from Agni because people can just kind of spam the alt. So, big shout out to. We need to look close at the screen. Is it Cyrus that's playing Agni right now? Big shout out to Cyrus. I mean, it's killing it. Oh, and he picks up Hera. Oddfire uh, in an awkward position here. I feel like we've seen Oddfire on Hera a lot. Oh, uh, Narcissus, 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 Narcissus. I probably still say it wrong. Who knows? Um, so these are showcase games specifically for uh, prospects for the CleDG Smite League. Um... So you'd have to join our Discord, which I can post a link, etc., etc., if you want, um, and just give some information. We get the posted up schedule. You just volunteer to be in one. You need to be in five to be drafted. Um, once you've been in five, you know you're draft eligible. Uh, you get drafted on draft day. Find a team, compete in the regular season, try to get the title, and so forth and so forth. Rinse and repeat, kind of like a NFL, NBA modeled uh, draft league. I hope I answered that well. Yeah, this Agni is just destroying. There's the hair alt though. That was big. 
If they can pick up Scotty here, maybe they can make something of it. <laughs> Yo, that, that, what is Pele's build? She did nothing. What, what is Scotty that far ahead? Scotty's 14, Pele's 11. Yeah, okay. That makes a bit more sense now. So one thing I have not got down, I'm not even going to front guys, is switching from looking at the screen in the game to looking at my chat room to see if it's up. Uh, so we'll get that down. Good time. Hair is on the run. Hair is dead. Hair is not on the run. This Agni is going off, man. He might fall right here, though, and he does to Yorm. MX doubles right behind him now. Uh, or not, I, I I don't think he's gonna be able to get out of this. He he should be right behind him. That shield absorbs so much damage. Oh, the stun was so crucial. But MX Double is gonna get out. He's too tanky, and I think that was kind of a waste of the Hunbat salt right there. I do not agree with that. Uh, Doxus, if you uh, I hope you got him saying your name right as well. <laughs> if you uh, go back and. Uh, the five thing I didn't get uh, you can you can just any any like actual questions we can conversate over discord that way I'm not doing it too much on stream uh, and I can kind of break it down I have docs etc etc that you can look over that should answer some questions and help with just understanding and transitioning um, I don't even remember what I was gonna say now story of my life <laughs> So red team with a clear advantage right now, about 7k gold up, uh, 12 kills up. Blue team's got to figure something out. I'm not a fan of how spread out they are right now. I think you guys kind of got to regroup and play defensively. You have no towers left except for, I think, back right tower and back mid tower. Um, and even then, like those aren't going to hold up too long. Red team's going to get Gold Fury completely uncontested, or I think it's Oni at this point in time. Maybe Primal, I'm not sure. 17 minutes should be Oni. Um, Apollo's not going to ult in. That would be a bad decision, Apollo. I wonder what happens if I press X. Is it like, oh. Of course he comes down right when I press X. Oh, uh, and down goes Apollo. Hera is about to follow him. Can she get out in time? Yeah, she's got an ult. She needs to drop it now. I think she ulted way too late. Pele uh, makes some big plays, but he's going to get shut down immediately by Scotty. And this Scotty's just having her way with the game. Yorm and Osiris doing their best to tank what they can. But it looks like they might end up losing this tower. Yo guys, for all the viewers that are already in the Discord, um, if you got if enough of you at Davies and ask him to commentate the 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time showcase game tonight, uh, he'll do it. If enough people at him, he'll do it. Just get on in the Discord at Davies and community or in the Prospect channel and ask him to commentate the 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time match. The more people do it, the more people, the more likely he is to do it. And he actually knows what he's talking about. Not that I don't know what I'm talking about, but Davies is like, Phew, pinpoint. Uh, are we finally going to get that fight over Fire Giant that I've been waiting now for about four minutes?
Like, red team has so much pressure, they can easily just pick this fight, pick off blue team, and take fire. They could have done this earlier. They just have to be careful. And blue team's getting cleaned up by this Agni. Although Hera is able to get picks, they're just trading right now. It's three to three, uh, or it's two to two. Three people have fallen from each team, so fair trades all around. I think they have to focus the Agni. Pele's got to get over onto the Agni. Take me to Pele. Oh, Pele's almost dead. But Yorm's going to get the Agni. It's okay. Yorm's going to die to Ymir. It's just one to one. That was almost a complete DS on both teams. Oh, my goodness. What a trade. And there's no reason with the level advantage, with the gold advantage, that red team should have lost that fight. That's exactly what they wanted to pick. That's exactly what they wanted to do, and they could not do it. Um, I can maybe get you guys into the 11 p.m. Uh, definitely I can get Godson in. I'm not sure just yet about you, Upbeat Bayo, because you are a captain. If I have a spot open that needs to be filled, I can for sure get you guys in. Um, but if I don't have a spot open, it's prospects first and then captains, you know, come in to fill whatever is needed. Oh, okay, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of ulting for one person, two people now. I don't know about all that. Oh, cast. Oh, I'm an idiot. That, that tells you how much I haven't paid attention. Cast, yes. Yes, for sure. Oh my god, yes. That would be a lifesaver up me, <laughs> That would be so nice. You'd be the you'd be the OG. Joker's in here watching too. Wow, I'm surprised. I didn't know Joker likes Smite. Yo, and the Yormal. Guys, it seems kind of pointless now. At least he's hitting everything with it. Down goes Apollo. Oh my goodness. Yeah, blue team's just completely outmatched in this lineup. Red team could definitely take a Phoenix right now. Uh, fire giants available. Is that a Hera ult that just came in? I didn't even know Hera was still standing. Red team is going to secure gold, and Scotty's going to pick up Hera. No problem. He said never played it, just watching. Yeah, I mean, you should try it out sometime. Smite is a great... What is Ymir doing? Smite is a great strategic game. Highly recommend it. Community can be uh, slightly toxic. I don't know if you'd be sending a message to somebody there, maybe. Um, but uh, if you like to try hard and sweat, Smite's definitely the game. Or if you want to get yelled at by your teammates for making mistakes, Smite's definitely the game. Scotty, they should be looking at fire right now. Yeah, they got uh, Geb pulling it. Only Osiris is realistically in a position to make a play. I don't think anybody else can make it there in time, and Osiris can't even make it there in time. And now he's going to die coming in just too late, and he is cleaned up. Red team's going to take Pyro, and they're looking to end this. Blue team should not be fighting in this jungle right now. They should be looking to pick a fight somewhere on one of these Phoenixes. Uh, if they fight anywhere other than the Phoenix, it's, it's a pointless fight. They they can't defend a tower. They, honestly, they can barely defend a Phoenix. They need the full team up, and they've got to be committed to getting a pick, not not necessarily defending the Phoenix. Harris here. Here comes Yorm. 
Para, I don't like that positioning at all. Just going straight in. Just gets melted. There's the Hunbat's ult. Wait, did red team get the Phoenix? Yeah, they did. He said Rocket League is life, though. Yeah, uh, Rocket League is, is uh, definitely not my life, though. Right now, my life is 2K, yo. If you ain't played 2K, what it, why is the red team just backing out right here, yeah? Uh, I guess this is a mid tower. I didn't see the mid tower on the map, so yeah, that makes more sense now. It's like, there's a Phoenix to take, there's something. They got the, their foot on the throat, just end the game. They're being, a, dare I say, a little too formal. I couldn't agree more, Abibeo. Smite is cancer. Smite is 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 the epitome of me not wanting to play any video game, but being like so uh, so obsessed that I still play anyway, even though I hate it. So maybe blue team gets a little undisciplined here and they let that fire minion wave sneak in our right lane. Let's wait and see. That's definitely something to keep in mind is map awareness. And it looks like Osiris is going to go over there to pick up the lane. Pele is hovering around the area as well. And red team's just chilling right now, doing their own thing, taking it at their own pace. They don't really care. Don't you guys love follow? Uh, I want to get Apollo's uh, screen like this again. Yeah. He just alts back to fountain. Blue team is just cleaning this up. And this looks to be the fall of the series. And that's going to be the game right there. I am going to, I guess I'll leave the stream up, but give me one second, guys. I had to explain the sins for those of you guys that don't know. Um, whenever you host a custom lobby, the next match will show the previous minis in spectate mode. Uh, so, like, I think you guys saw that in the match last night or the match before. Um, where... Uh, let me restart my smite just to be on the safe side. only show up in spectate mode so like if you're in the game you don't see them but if i'm spectating i see them and then like it also affects characters to some extent as well so like when i'm just switching through characters 
Sometimes there's a clone of the winning team's characters around the the enemy team's titan, and it'll just switch me to their titan real quick, and I'm like, what am I doing? Just waiting to hear that the new lobby's up. All right, so we have to spectate up. Am I missing anybody? So now I have all this free time just to talk. Ha 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 ha. Haven't had this before. Yeah, there is a there's a lot of just bad positioning in plays. Uh Nar Naris X X Nuris Nurisix Nurisic Narcus is Gosh. Uh yeah, I'm good at pronouncing names. Um <laughs> Uh, and I did see you at me in the uh, Discord. I will get with you as soon as the stream's done. I just didn't want to like start that out right on stream. Um, just waiting to see how long until this match is ready to go. This man goes on a bathroom break. A bathroom break. What am I supposed to do? Just gonna chill here, I guess? Like, yo, guys, what's up? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what I should do, is just be like, hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, so, uh, nar 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 Narcus, nar Narcus X. Narcus X. Nar nar Narcus X. Narcus X. <gasps> Narcus X, is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. Um, I was gonna ask, uh, well, what, what's your favorite god, man? What you like playing? What role? If you're even still in the chat, I can't tell, to be honest. It's just like... No, okay, then what does this do? When you're trying to learn all your, your buttons on Twitch still... I hope I don't get a Narcus is fine. Narcus. 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 I hope it's Narcus. If it's not Narcus, I'm gonna feel bad. Maybe Narcus. I don't know. I'm the last guy to be pronouncing names correctly. Alrighty. As we sit here and wait on this, uh, it was supposed to be a game two.
Narkis. Narkis. He's like, no, it's a cis. So I'm gonna be like, uh. Well. And I'm the one who figured out how to put all this together, and I can't even pronounce the name. Oh, you play support. Um, we definitely need some supports, dude. Like, we need some support. Support in ADC is probably the lowest uh, rated position. Not rated. Uh, the lowest population position. I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, still. We have the least amount of supports in ADCs out of every position. That's how I guess I should word it. Oh look, Davies is on. <laughs> um, I just wish they would hurry up and get this match rolling. Oh, we're waiting on Buzzard. That's right. Durka dur. see let me see <sighs> do 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 waiting yet again So sore. Seven minutes now. Just waiting in a queue. With me talking on a stream. That's a uh, great A quality right there. I'm saying Narcus, not Narcissus. So it's Narcissus. Is that how it's supposed to be Narcissus? Narcissus. Narcissus. Nar Nar Narcissus. Narcissus. I think that's how it's pronounced. That's what we're going with right now. Narcissus. Whoa, the match has started. Just kidding, it actually hasn't. Let me find out what's taking so long. It's like, nah, yeah, we've been in a match the entire time. Where have you been? I'm gonna be like blown. I'm running home. I'll be on soon. Holy moly, artichokey. Ah, 
Okay, so now... I wait. And I wait. And I wait. And I continue to wait. Just sitting here in a queue for nine minutes doing nothing but waiting. Let's see if we can get anybody to take... Had to refresh the stream. <laughs> Let's see if we can get anybody, uh... To take this last, uh, solo spot real quick. It looks like Buzzard is getting on right now. And you see, this is exactly why I like to, uh... like stop my stream for like five minutes and I restart it is um so I'm not here just aimlessly talking pointless conversations like a crazy person talking to myself but it's okay and my screen probably went silent there for a second well this is amazing. 11 minutes in. I'm just happy we got all of our captains. Really, all we're trying to do is grab a few more players for the league. Get these showcase games done and through. Get everybody uh, at least five showcase games. So captains have seen everybody play. Everything is recorded on stream. And then onwards to the draft and the regular season. The sooner we get that done, go blah, 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 blah. the sooner we get that going, the better. I mean, Ruth, I can technically talk to you. But uh, are you going to talk back? That's the question. Uh, I'm ready when uh, are they ready? I'm ready. This should be starting soon. Should be starting. Soon. All right, Ruth. Well, uh, since you're talking to me, guess what? I got I got some interesting news that is on the super 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 like early stages of news, and the game should be starting now. But I got some some wild news, nonetheless. So, uh, we, we've been looking at, uh, you know, some different things to do to kind of like, uh, expand the, the community. Uh, what can we do to bring a unique flavor, this, that, and the third. And, you know, like at G specifically specializes in hosting tournaments. We don't really try to put our own team out in a competitive scene. Uh, we give casual to competitive players that, uh, like median slash environment to play in. Um... We were looking at like maybe somewhere to to host land tournaments, et cetera, et cetera, once we get big enough, or even like to a more local degree. Uh, we are in the Fredericksburg, Virginia area. That's where Cleedy G is based out of, East Coast. Um, and we may have found a location with PCs, consoles, et cetera, et cetera, uh, that is willing to sponsor slash work with us uh, to host land events and then to help advertise to help build the community. That's in its super early stages, but it got me super hyped. <laughs> That's big news. Uh, I, it'll be big news when uh, when it's all said and done. Yeah, that's when it'll be big news. When I can actually come out and be like, hey guys, ta-da. But uh, it's it's very, very uh, exciting to hear, regardless. Having a, an actual location, et cetera, et cetera, would be amazing. And Adios is going to take Erling in. 
completely forgot about the game there for a second. We've got Thor, Isis, and Zong as the first bands for blue team, and Scotty, Geb, and Set for the, as the first bands for red team. Sins is going to lock in Neath as his first pick. He is playing ADC, so that fits well. Jokingly, he's going to take King Arthur. That's a strong pick, but not the strongest pick, and I don't think Erlang's the strongest pick right now. Just kidding. Jokingly, he's going to take Kamazaz, it looks like. That's more of a uh, flex pick, in my opinion. Oh, well, thank you, Ruth. I just looked back over at my chat to see that you said hope it works out. Uh, so thank you. I hope it does, too. So watch my bitrate. I have no idea what that uh, means, but it says excellent. So that must mean I'm doing uh, pretty good on my bitrate. We see Merlin and Ymir. I'm actually really surprised that they left Ymir back to Ymir PK. Uh, we'll see if they have a different outlook going forward. Uh, he, although, I don't know, man. Whoever's playing solo, I think it's Buzzard that's playing solo. Or no, it might be Jokingly. Jokingly might be playing solo against uh, Ymir. And that might be a, a big yikes to him. I like the Kamazots pick, but we saw this man pretty strong in Ymir. Right? Okay, so I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that's surprised about that, right? Because, like, that man definitely was, like, killing it. He was really strong. The ult was playing a big effect. Uh, he was landing his freezes. Uh, he knew how to use the wall for CC. Uh, the, he was making some noise, so that is very surprising. The Poseidon out from Oddfire. Uh, Poseidon in the Merlin right now. Uh, I mean, you kind of got to take the Merlin regardless. I hate to be that guy, but, like... I just like the Merlin in, t in the matchup overall more than I do Poseidon. Poseidon is a whirlpool in his ult or his biggest team fight abilities. All of Merlin's abilities are great team fight abilities. So we'll see. But uh, we see Jingwei and Scotty off the board for red team. Kefri off the board for blue team. I guess that's maybe to prevent Buzzard from having Kefri, but I think banning Kefri is a waste. Maybe it's just me. Hate me for it. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. What's the point? What do you get out of it? What are you preventing? There's so many other supports, I guess, you could ban if you were going to ban somebody and yet they choose to ban Kefri. And Hunbats. They took the Hunbats away. Uh, I think that was supposed to be one of his safety picks that they're trying to prevent him from having. But I don't think it's also going to make a difference because I don't think Hunbats that big... I don't know. We'll see. I think his god pool should extend well well past the Hunbats. We see Sir Ket. I love Sir Ket players. Uh, she's not the easiest to play. Um, especially on console, nonetheless. And a Daji. Ooh. But uh, we'll see. I'm a fan. If you can pull it off. And the last ban for red team, by the way, was Honor. But yeah, if you can pull off the circuit, I'm a fan. It's definitely easier to do on PC than his console, but let's see. You know, I should have linked my Twitter into this, but I didn't. Actually, I may have. I don't know. This shows you how tech-savvy I am. Alright, guys. So, you can see the teams right now. Who you guys got taking the game? I think, almost without a doubt, it's got to get a blue team. I love the picks more. Uh, I love the players a little bit more, too. I think Foxy's doing really good in ADC. Cyrus is dominating in mid. MX double is MX double. You gave that man an Erling. The Ymir, you let have Ymir. So, obviously, anybody who's named Ymir playing Ymir is probably going to win. Um, and then adios on Dodgy. Dodgy's a really strong pick here. The alt pairs well with Merlin, pairs well with Erling, it pairs well with Ymir. Um, and then, you know, countering that, I guess you, or not countering, but uh, on the opposite end. Uh, Kamazot's not really much of a team fight god. Uh, honestly, same thing with Sirket. She does have some hard CC with her alt, but she's not a damage immune anymore, I believe, or damage reduced, something something of that nature with her alt she used to be, I believe. 
Uh, she is not anymore, so that's a negative. I just I think the setup and the uh, CC chains will come a lot easier for blue team than red team. Uh, really, you just have your niece one, niece one in her alt. Kamazots is nothing. Poseidon's three in alt. Serket's alt. Uh, her two if you can land it, but that's that's something a little high key to count on landing. <laughs> and then Athena is the, you know with with the the taunts, you know that's a nice CC I guess that sets up a little bit, but that's not doing much for you. You'd be floored if Blue didn't win this. Not to throw shade. That sounds like you're throwing shade. So you're saying that Sin's jokingly, joking lyric, I was going to say jokingly, Oddfire, Frank, and Buzzard cannot get the job done. Is that what you're saying? Is that I just, I just want a clarification. As we wait now, I can't get silent. I realize if I get silent, I'm like waiting. It's like delayed response. <laughs> Ugh. All right, we're just waiting for the match to get in now. Uh, I'm expecting Cyrus to go off. Uh, this man should definitely be uh, cementing his position in the league in the draft right now. Um, I'm kind of expecting the same thing from Foxy. Ymir, this is his second game, so I don't know really what I'm going to see from him. Uh, Doxus is Adioxus. Ad 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 the, the TSB Dodge Z. Um, Adoxus. Ad 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 Adios. I don't know how to say his name. Gosh, I'm going to sit here and struggle with it forever. Um, he's been kind of having a rough patch uh, between ADC and Jungles where he spent all his time reps in the showcase games. And he has... There hasn't been a jungler at this point in time, I'll, I'll say. That is the clear favorite best jungler at this point in time. Ah, screen, don't go dark. Sins, Captain, doesn't matter. Act joking. Uh, he's also, uh, I put him on the mid to bottom tier of the draft board right now with so many solos. It's such a deep position. It is really hard to stand out, get noticed. And I just don't think he's done enough in the solo lane right now. Maybe from a support stand standpoint, cause he has played some support. Uh, he might rise up the boards a bit, but currently right now there's just so many solos. It's going to be hard to climb up. Odd fire. I'd put like mid to high. Uh, he's shown, potential to say the least he might not be there uh, top tier right now but he's shown enough potential that he could be that uh, at a later point maybe midway to late through the season after he's developed with his team so i could see out fire going like maybe second round late first round uh who does that leave that leaves frank from it and jungle i believe it's his second game as well um, and I'm, I'm just a little, uh, also a little concerned on how, uh, Frank from IT is going to perform this game. Like I said, no jungler has really, uh, stood out as the dominant, like, hey, I'm the guy you want to look at jungler. So, I mean, right now, after last game's performance, honestly, he's still in the middle of the pack with the rest of the junglers. Nobody has stood out. And I think that was everybody. Or did I cover? Uh, I didn't cover Buzzard. Buzzard! Buzzard has been the most willing person to play any role. I can't say that actually. There's been a lot of willing players. Shout out to everybody that's willing to come outside of their comfort zone to uh, uh, let everybody enjoy playing. Um, but Buzzard's been really strong in support and solo. I wouldn't put him in the top tier at either category, unfortunately, right now. Although I'd put him a little bit higher, like probably a late first round pick as support. As a solo laner, probably a mid-second rounder right now. We'll see. Uh, and I believe that did cover everybody, yeah. So, uh, anyway. Uh, I did. I just pulled that all out of my brain, too. I didn't have a script or anything. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this, you could say. <laughs> um, anyway, though. Back onto the game. Uh, we see kind of a, the new meta dual lane here where it's just two ADCs, no support over here. Neath into Chaplonk. And I really like the Chaplonk. Uh, his three, I hate. That's one of the biggest reasons why I love him as an ADC. I hate uh, playing into him because the three just gets you out of so much CC from ganks to Neath's one. To Neath's all if you time it right. It doesn't get you out of the damage per se, but the fact that I don't get CC is so big. Mid starting by themselves. 
Oh, it looks like a little lag right there. And I believe it's red team that's helping me to turn this all around. A bit of lag coming in right now for sure. Or at least somebody is lagging. I'm not 100% sure. But... <laughs> he said, what happened? Oh, I didn't even know there was a pause. Restart a game mid lagged out. So I don't think this game actually is, is going on right now. I think we're watching dead gameplay. Maybe I'm just waiting to get a confirmation. And we are, so you know what that means. Back to the title screen to stare at a, a spectating queue for another 20 minutes. Woohoo! Okie dokie now, artichokey. Be like, oh, yeah. Wait, that's not the face I wanted to make. How do I stop making faces? There we go. Yeah, I figured it out. Problem solved. Alrighty, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully for the last time. But probably not, because, you know, why would it be the last time? That just makes too much sense. But here I am going to a fucking custom game. Oh, yikes. It just threw me right in. game right now? Like, what's the dealio? Mosquilio. Oh, did he lag out? What am I watching? I don't understand. When you're more confused than anything else. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it makes my screen do that. Can you guys not hear me when my screen's like that? Or can you still hear me? Oh, 
goodness gracious. Okay, so you can't hear me, that's what I thought. Oh my goodness. This is uh this is going very well. Here we go again. Hopefully, for the last time, I have to go stream Rocket League after this. You know, wow, my mic wasn't even on. Ha 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 ha! Fuck! Um, so it's supposed to be just a showcase game. As I sit here and wait, they debate who's the lobby to join. You know, the one good thing about Rocket League is I can host the lobby and still spectate. I don't have to worry about uh, taking up a spot in the lobby. Yo, Ruth, so, uh, I know you're watching. Who you want to, uh, I know you want to draft one of these, uh, astounding players, right? Uh, you must have your eye on, uh... Oh, look, it's starting. I heard you're trying to draft that MX double guy, right? And Sins, right? Those are the two, the two people you wanted to draft the most? I just get an LOL. I don't want MX. I did want MX. I was gonna be like, I'm telling him you don't want him. I did want MX. I uh, I told him he's ever not a captain. I want. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. He's got his man already. Excuse me, guys. One minute.
All right, I'm back. I'm so sorry. Whew. Took me a second. I had to run downstairs, but I'm back. I had to get a drink. You guys were wondering where I've been. I wanted Bayo too. Like that was gonna happen. That man's that man. If that man was in a draft, you better had the first overall pick, or else he's gone. Prepare to get into a lobby. Just waiting, just waiting, tick tock, tick tock. You know, this is probably my favorite part of the stream. It's just sitting here with you guys, just waiting on the, you know. Yeah. Up oh, here we go, finally. All right, and let's get this game underway. Um, we're going to go over some introductions here right now. We are going to have Frank from IT at Jungle. He is playing Sir Ket. We are going to have Act Joking. He is playing Kamazots. We're going to have Sins, or Act Joking, playing Kamazots at Support, I should say. Let me, let me get that right. Um, we are going to have Sins on the Neath at ADC. We're going to have Oddfire on Poseidon at Mid. And we're going to have Buzzard on Athena at Support. And then on the other end of the spectrum, Adoxis is going to be playing Daji and Jungle. We're going to have a Ymir solo. MX Double is going to be rocking the Erleg support. You're going to get to see a Cyrus rocking mid. And last but not least is going to be Foxy on Shablanc. I hope I did that right. So this is going to be really interesting to see if this turns out to be a serious stomp or not. Nothing too serious just yet. Be standard start to the game.
Up, oh, dodgy looking to be picking on somebody. Let's see if I can get over to that. They were picking on Merlin. Foxy picked up Buzzard. I did not see that one coming. Mix double is gonna pick up sins no problem and look at that minion wave I wouldn't be surprised if they get this tower right now and eh, no, they didn't clear the wave that's crazy two minutes in and that tower is so close to being dead it's under half Nothing much, so <clears throat> still pretty slow game. Blue team with a, a bit of a lead right now by I want to say 2K, but not about just yet. And they're gonna turn it around, pick up a side in right here, and they should end up picking up Buzzard. Is Buzzard gonna be able to dash out? Buzzard has his dash. I think he used it though. And Sir Cat's looking to pick somebody up. She's gonna go in the Erlang. Neath is there as well. She misses her two. Neath miss. Neath lands to one, and they are gonna get the circuit. That's the first kill for red team. Or they are gonna get the Erling. What am I saying? Is Ymir bullying this canvas odds? Five to five? I don't know. I that a little bit. <laughs> Dodgy looking. She isn't gonna get Poseidon. Wow, what a lucky man. And she's gonna be really low. And good awareness from Poseidon just to get out of there, because if he's stuck around in the mid tower, there's a chance maybe he gets picked by somebody else. Such as Merlin. Blue team causing some serious havoc right now. They should all go on this Erling. Yeah, this Erling is like free food. Uh, Merlin's gonna peel them out, no problem. <clears throat> and now Camazots is getting bullied by both Ymir and Erling. This is looking really bad for Red Team.
Now we're gonna go over to mid real quick. Ooh, Sir Cat with a big kill there. She almost gets a double kill. She's gonna get the ult, and that should end the Erling, and it does. Red team able to turn a fight in mid lane, although their solo laner is getting hammered by this Ymir right now. <clears throat> This is seven minutes now. About about a two K lead. I almost wanted to say three, but it looks a lot closer to two. <clears throat> and then a three kill leader now. Let's look at damage. Who's done the most player damage? Hmm. It's Yamir. And early. Not much from Ymir, or from Merlin. Uh, I'm getting all these names mixed up. And as I say that, Ymir picks off the Camasots again. Just barely this time, though. Here comes Erlang. And Foxy is killing it with this ship along. Big place for Mimir. Like, I don't even think he intended to hit the Camazots, but he still does. Oof. Blue team starting to pull away right here. They need to figure something out. <clears throat> that was a big Athena taunt. There's the beads. Good alt timing. Lands both the twos, and they pick up the Merlin. <clears throat> Cyrus is going to fall, that's huge. Dodge is going to try to pick something up right here. And Athena is going to get away. Kamazots is having a rough time right now. The Amir has got his number dialed up. Who's warding? Merlin's warding. And Buzzard's warding. And Shablanc is ordering. Foxy, beautiful auto. The extra range on Shablanc gets the kill. And red team's backed against a wall right now.
And blue team is just stomping this game around right now. Ooh, Sir Cat might fart here. Let me see if I can get over to him now. I didn't even see the cameras up there. He's really low as well. Ooh, they might be able to pick up your mirror. Nope, in comes Daji. And there's the Poseidon all poorly placed. And this has been a rough game to say the least. Yeah, unfortunately, the Red Death didn't draft well there. I do agree, and unfortunately, uh, it is going to happen, um, especially in these earlier stages of the league right now, where we just don't have as many players. So, uh, and with, with position restrictions, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, right now it's a lot of uh, time and, and manpower that we still need. We like to add about 20 or 30 more players. Uh, and we do need a bit more time with showcases, with roster updates, etc., etc., to fully get everybody in a position where we feel that uh, all of these games are pure balanced. But and even then, it, it might not reach that way. And with it being a draft league, um, there's a strong chance that there are going to be you know weaker teams and stronger. Teams. It's just the nature of uh, a draft league. But we do have ways of balancing that in the future, and teams and players that are here for the long run um, will get to reap the benefits that we have in place, such as the plea coins, um, free agency, uh, rookie drafts, etc., etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Big yikes. Very interesting what we got going on over here. Aww, and then they do him dirty. Big yikes, that's my line. First off, I'm the one that says big yikes. But yes, this is definitely a big yikes. This year, Mir is literally just bodying this soul line over here. Yikes on bikes. Um, no, no, you can have you can have that one. I'll just keep big yikes. You can have yikes on bikes. And this is actually just a massacre. Yikes on strikes. Yo, Chaotic, it's actually funny you say that. We do have a, uh, as I start advertising for something, it's, this game's become uh, quite uncompetitive at this point right now. Um, we do have a ARC server as well um, called Mozarth, and I do believe it runs out in October. I don't know if we're going to renew it or not. 
it's a Valguro server that we were trying to turn into a PvP server. Um, it has 20 slots available. Uh, Mozarth, M O Z A R T H. Xbox unofficial PC server. Go check it out. Um, feel free to go raid people, do whatever you want. Uh, the server's up for reads. People of Arc to enjoy it. It's kind of boosted. Uh, yes, so you can tame. The only thing that's not boosted is the weight. Uh, we're, we didn't feel like boosting any of the weights, though. And wild tames can get up to level 600. Uh, you can tame everything within a day. You can raise everything within a day for the most part. I, we haven't tested it out on like longer teams like Gigas or anything like that. But uh, you could definitely raise like most normal teams within like two to three hours. So that's a plus uh, for breeding. Um, and then harvest rate, etc., etc., has increased. Um, platform structures increased. What you can build on them, uh, their level tiers, etc., etc., all of that's increased. Anyway, back to Smite, because that's what we're streaming, you know? So how long the tame is Stego? I don't know, like... Probably 20, depends on the level. Like I said, the wild level can get up to 600 on the, level, on the map. So, uh... Take your pick with that one. Blue team should just, you know, go for their, oh, they actually really can't go for the end, you know, all the red teams up, no, I pay attention. They're going to attempt to do it anyway, here they come, they're going in, Ymir's going to kill one! Poseidon going to have a big play here, or not. And that is game two, and I am super sorry to red team, because uh, the results of these games it came out very uh, unbalanced, it was very one-sided. We're going to work to get that balance set more. As I get more information filled out on, out on players and more match results, uh, I will know how and, and who to pay. people up with uh if you want to show some support for cleedy g for rocket league smite 2k or any future projects that we have going forward feel free to like subscribe give us a follow any of that uh helps towards the long run and everything we're doing here uh enjoy the rest of your night i should have a stream up more than likely at 10 p.m now it seems for rocket league and 11 p.m for more showcase games for smite so do tune in then as well